Hello crafty friends! My name is Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl, and it is time for another oh-so-inspired collaboration. I hope you'll stick around, see what's inspiring us this month, see what I'm going to create, and find out how you can go view all the other collaborators' creations. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. I'm super excited for the new term of the Oh So Inspired collaboration. Now, unfortunately, we did have one artist who decided to step away, so thank you so much to Melissa of Mel's Card Corner for joining us last term, but we do have a couple new members. Up on screen now is a look at the entire team, and you might notice a couple, they might be familiar to you faces, but they're new to the collaboration team. Please help me welcome Nikki of Nikki Hearts Cards and Toby of Biddy Penny. Their channels, as well as the rest of the collaboration teams, will be linked in the description box below. I hope that if you don't already, you'll go over there and subscribe and watch some of their videos and leave them some love. For this month's inspiration, we chose the card that you see up on screen now. It was created by Leslie of the Running With Scissors blog. Now, I will have that blog post linked in the description box below so you can go check out more about the card. As you hop along to each of the collaborators' videos today, you're going to see their takes on the card. And I'm so excited to see what everybody has created because it's so fun to see how we all take inspiration from the same piece but get something completely different in the end. Now, to see those collaboration team videos, there are a few things that you can do. If it's still working, you can click on the hashtag in the title. If that's acting funky and not giving you the correct videos, I do have a link to the playlist in the description box. Now, it might take me a few minutes to get everybody's videos added to that, so please be patient. But if you want to get right to those videos and I haven't completed the playlist, I also have everybody's channel linked in that description box. I hope that you'll hop along and see how everybody was inspired today. What jumped out at me about the card was kind of that border strip of images and different textures and layers. So that's what I'm going to incorporate into my card today. But instead of using flowers and leaves, I'm going to be using butterflies. I was asked to be a guest artist this month for Scrappy Tales Crafts. So I am going to be using the Heartfelt Wings stamp and die set that they sent me for my cards today. Now last week I shared some shaped cards using this set. There's a picture up on screen now and I will link that video below if you want to check it out. I just wanted to show you a different way to use this set. As I get into the process, I will be sure to let you know about other products and tools I bring in. But as always, if I ever leave you with any questions, feel free to leave those in that comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty! For today's card, I will be going with a purple and silver color palette. Not only was it inspired by the purple flowers in that original piece, but also from the little shaker mix that Scrappy Tails Crafts sent me. I got out my Gina K Designs Wild Lilac ink pad and my purple blending brush. Just like on the card, I want to keep the main chunk of the items to one side. So I will be blending from the bottom to top with that purple ink, making sure to keep the most concentration right along the edge. When that was done, I brought in the Drifting Confetti Stencil that I designed for Not Too Shabby, and I concentrated the ink in just about the same area, just adding a little bit more texture to the card this way. I will be stamping and heat embossing a line of butterflies to go across the bottom of my card and the first one I will be actually stamping onto a piece of 28 pound vellum. This way you can kind of see through to what's behind it but it adds a little extra interest. 
I did make sure to prep my vellum before I did the stamping with my powder tool and then I inked up and stamped the butterfly twice with Versamark ink. I wanted to make sure it was nice and juicy. Once that was done, I brought in this detail silver embossing powder and poured it over the image. Now when I heat emboss on my vellum, I make sure to let my heat tool get nice and warmed up and then I try to come in as quickly as possible and get that melted. Just because the vellum is a plastic, I don't want that to melt as well. I used the coordinating die to cut that out and now we're going to do a little bit more stamping and this time it's right onto that ink blended background. Like I mentioned before I kind of want a line of butterflies and these will be stamped directly onto our ink blended piece. I used the vellum die cut butterfly to give me an idea of where to place the other two. I wanted the vellum one just a little left of center. Now while I finish stamping and heat embossing these, I wanted to tell you about a special discount from Scrappy Tails Crafts. When they reached out to me about being a guest artist this month, I asked if I could get a special discount for you guys, and they agreed. So between now and the end of April, you can get 15% off your next Scrappy Tales Crafts order using the code that is up on screen now. You do have to use it at checkout. It can't apply to any previous orders or be combined with any other offers, but there are no minimums and there are no exclusions. I will have this code in the description box below with a little bit more information. I hope you'll go check out their site and maybe get yourself some new crafty goodies. Don't you just love the shine of heat embossing? For this sentiment on today's card, I chose the thanks for always brightening my day from the stamp set. I thought this could be used for multiple occasions. I will be using the wild lilac ink that I used for ink blending earlier for the sentiment. I did go ahead and place my vellum butterfly where it would go in the end just to help with placing the sentiment. And then I got it inked up and stamped it twice for a nice bold purple. Now before I put away my Misty, I do have one more thing that I want to do, and that is to decorate the inside. Earlier off camera, I cleaned off my blending brush on the bottom of the inside to add a little bit of color, and now I'm going to use one of the butterflies from the stamp and stamp it on the inside so it's kind of hanging off the edge like on the front. I used the same purple ink and stamped it twice. Now all of the pieces are ready so we can get the card put together. I forgot to mention earlier before I stamped the sentiment that I did die cut the ink blended piece with a stitched rectangle die. This way when I put it flat onto the card base, there's a nice white mat around the edges and gives some definition to the ink blended area. Now for the butterfly, I brought in some thin foam strips and I placed pieces behind the embossed area. Originally, I only put it behind the body because I liked kind of that motion of the wings. But later again off camera, I did put some more on the back to hold those wings in place. To finish the card off, I brought in that shaker mix that I got sent and I scattered those around the front of the card. And here are some close up looks at the finished card. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I was inspired to create today's card. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Now don't forget to go visit all of the rest of the collaboration team videos by either clicking on the hashtag in the title, the playlist link in the description box, or those YouTube channel links. I know that they're going to love for you to stop by, see what they created, and leave them some love. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.